And when he gets hit up high by John Bostic of Washington, none of the Cowboys players rushed to his defense. Nobody got in the face of John Bostic. It was very alarming. Even Mike McCarthy admitted after the game it was not the reaction he expected. You've been in that locker room. You've been in those huddles. You know what it takes to be a great team. What does that tell you about the Cowboys? One of the first things that starts eroding when a season falls apart is your, you know, your internal pride for the team, and you start making business decisions. When an offensive lineman goes after somebody who you know, puts a dirty hit on his quarterback, that's not a business decision. That's that internal pride for your team and for what you represent. And uh, while I certainly don't condone that kind of thing, I think you know, if a player – I know John Bostic was ejected, but that, if John Bostic wasn't ejected – find a way to get him back in the course of play over the next series or two. That's how I would prefer to handle that. I don't want to add, you know, uh, any, uh, I don't want to respond with a dirty hit to it with another dirty hit, just as a general style of play for me professionally. But at the same time, again, when they don't go up and at least grab them or talk to them or, you know, gang up on them and have some angry words that speaks to that declining pride in the locker room there. So um, the team culture for the Dallas Cowboys right now is particularly poor. You've got 11 guys out there, particularly on defense, but I think in some ways on offense as well, who are literally out there just trying to do their own thing. And it's showing up with how they played, showing up with this dirty hit yesterday with nobody stepping up to defend their quarterback. 